Andrew, you are missing out on all the fun over here because we have our pet of the week. We have Kim Warnick here from the Harlan Gin Humane Society uh, with our very special pet of the week. So tell us, who is this? This is Peppermint. Peppermint's about two and a half months old. She's a little girl. Um, really friendly, super active, needs to get into a home of her own. She would do great in an apartment setting. She would do very well with kids, maybe not small kids because she's still a little bit rowdy for a kitten. Um, but really, really just an exceptional little kitten. All right. Do you guys have lots of kittens right now? We do. We have lots of cats and kittens available. Their adoption fee is $100, and that covers their spay neuter, their um, FIV, Feluke testing, vaccines, rabies, microchip, all of that's included, and a visit to the vet. And lots of animals probably need a home before the holidays. We do. We do see a lot of animals coming in. We've been getting a lot of litters of puppies and kittens. So if you're considering getting an animal for the holidays, make sure you think about your time constraints because they do um, take a lot of time and energy to get them trained and get them raised properly. But think about adopting before you think about supporting the backyard breeders and purchasing a pet. Yes, and so you guys have a special event coming up this weekend. We do. We are having our monthly vaccine clinic, which is available to everyone. Doesn't matter if you live in the Harlan area or not. Offer vaccines for cats, dogs, testing, preventatives, all of that is available. Okay, and so anybody can come? Anybody can come. It's Saturday from 9 to 1230 in the parking lot of the shelter. Okay, and is there a cost to it? Um, there is. It depends on what you're getting. Rabies vaccines start at $12, and then we have other packages available as well. And why is it important for us to be vaccinating our animals? I know it's probably not the first thing that comes to mind when you think of your to-do list. Well, it's not, but we're seeing a lot of parvovirus right now. Um, puppies are getting sick quite a bit. So you want to make sure that, you know, just like your children, they need the vaccines, they need boosters. Um, dogs should be on heartworm preventative. That's very prevalent in South Texas. So really, you know, keep in mind that it's not just get them some food and water and, and that's all that they need. They do need a little bit more care. Okay, perfect. So vaccine going on this weekend in the parking lot and Peppermint needs a home. Perfect. Well, thank you for bringing our special guest. We'll be right back.